In this 2020 RedMax module, we will be learning all about RedMax. In this module, we'll take a look at the history of RedMax as well as the technology RedMax has to offer. In the next few slides, we'll go through the history of RedMax. In the beginning, in 1950, the company became known as Zenowa. In 1979, Zenowa became a subsidiary of Komatsu Limited and was known as Komatsu Zenowa. From 1983 to 1992, HMC, or the Hawaiian Motor Company, manufactured the Green Machine brand sold in the United States using mostly Zenowa engines. This company went out of business in 1993. As we go into the Stratacharge innovation, in 1998, Komatsu Zenowa introduced the first emission-friendly Stratacharge two-stroke engine. The Stratacharge technology was viewed as the best option to keep two strokes on handheld products. Other manufacturers like Steel chose to go with four-stroke technology and introduced the Formix engines in 2001, while others used catalyst mufflers and waited on patents to the Stratacharge to expire so they could copy the technology. In 1998, the Redmax brand was created in the United States to fill the void left by the Green Machine products. In other parts of the world, the Zenowa brand was used. In 2007, Komatsu Limited sold the subsidiary Komatsu Zenowa to Husqvarna, which formed a new subsidiary of Husqvarna named Zenowa Company Limited. Husqvarna's desire to have a bigger presence in the Asian market and the desire to have the Stratacharge technology made the purchase of Zenowa a logical decision. In 2017, the Redmax brand evolved into a comprehensive product offering, introducing a full lineup of zero-turn mowers to complement their industry-leading handheld items. Redmax was one of the world's first outdoor power equipment manufacturers to take steps toward improving the environment. For over 30 years, we have been committed to making all of our products as environmentally friendly as possible. When we look at the Redmax brand, we look at some advantages that we bring to the table. An industry-leading fleet program, our power dealer program, a comprehensive product offering, Stratacharge engines, 0% retail financing with 3% buy-down, bid assist programs, military first responder program, and demo programs. In the next few slides, we'll go through how a Stratacharge engine works and the features and benefits of the technology. The Stratacharge engine technology was introduced in 1998. It produces low emissions to meet EPA regulation, requires no valve adjustments or oil changes, and is a more efficient design with just three moving parts the piston, the connecting rod, and the crankshaft. As you can see in the image above, Redmax has three moving pieces. Our competitor has 30 moving parts to make their engine work. This technology generates 15 to 20 percent more horsepower than a typical four-stroke engine and 20 percent more fuel efficient than your standard two-stroke engines. And it also provides a high power to weight ratio, the ability to provide a very powerful unit at a very light weight. As seen here, fresh fuel, shown in green, begins to enter the crankcase. The piston is in the top position. This means vacuum in the crankcase, while fresh air enters the transfer port, shown in blue. When the spark plug fires, the fuel in the combustion chamber explodes, driving the piston down and creating the pressure in the crankcase. As that pressure forces the contents and the transfer ports to enter the combustion chamber, that fresh air is the first to enter the chamber. So what mixes with the exhaust gases is more clean air and less unburned fuel. The fuel charge is now in the combustion chamber, where the ignition will ignite the mix and start all over again. Stratacharge does not need the help of a catalyst muffler to help burn off excess exhaust gases. In conclusion, the engine utilizes clean air to push out the burnt fuel, which provides a more fuel efficient design, as well as being able to produce more horsepower. This module was brought to you by Engine Warehouse in partnership with Redmax. Thank you for watching.